Crystal Ball is on MSNBC, so it's a bit surprising when she decided that she was going to do commentary against Hillary Clinton. Hmm. Well, let's hear her out and see if it makes sense. I've come to a difficult realization. I don't want Hillary Clinton to run for president in 2016. I do not think that she is the right person for this moment. Back in 2008, when all my peers were jumping on the Obama bandwagon, I backed Hillary. The country was reeling from a disastrous eight years of President George W. Bush. Does Hillary Clinton sound to you like the right person for this moment? In a time when corporations have hijacked our politics, enabling them to reap all the profit without feeling any compunction to do right by their workers. Is someone who sat on the rabidly anti-union board of Walmart for six years the right person to restore workers' rights? In a time when we're still reeling from a global financial disaster brought on by foolhardy bank deregulation, is someone who recently took $400,000 to give two speeches at Goldman Sachs the person we need to wrest control of the asylum back from the banking inmates. Someone who at those paid speeches reassured the masters of the universe in attendance that they were being unfairly persecuted. That in her words, the banker bashing was unproductive and indeed foolish. Someone whose husband, by the way, did much of the deregulating that got us into trouble in the first place. In a time when we badly need to be inspired and rallied and made to believe that America can once again be true to the American dream, we need someone who is mission driven, who's clearly passionate, living and breathing and feeling in their bones the plight of the worker, of the middle class. That person is not Hillary Clinton. Damn, I did not expect that. Nicely done. That was awesome. Okay, that's a nice little twist there I didn't see coming. Now, of course, Hillary Clinton is the odds-on favorite to be the Democratic nominee for president. It doesn't mean she's going to get there. And if I look into my crystal ball, uh, I also agree with crystal ball that I don't think she's the right candidate. And I think somebody's going to come from the left and defeat her just like happened in 2008 when Barack, uh, Barack Obama did that. So I agree with crystal. So, hey, great, man. I, I, I love that passionate speech and smart speech. She's absolutely right. That $400,000 from Goldman Sachs to tell the bankers that they're the victims? Oh, that's disgusting. Which de Democrat wants to enthusiastically vote for that? I mean, people are getting all riled up because, oh, it's her turn. What does that mean? It's her turn for what? It's her turn to serve the bankers? And I love that uh, Crystal Ball mentioned uh, Elizabeth Warren there. So all the credit in the world. Now, there's someone who did not like that. Bill O'Reilly. Now, how's this for a twist? Bill O'Reilly comes in to defend Hillary Clinton. Watch. You would think that committed liberal Americans would low-key it a bit. You would think. But no, they're upping the rhetoric, especially the anti-capitalism stuff. Is someone who recently took $400,000 to give two speeches at Goldman Sachs the person we need to wrest control of the asylum back from the banking inmates? Now that anti-capitalistic commentary is the far left's signature issue. But many on the left want to dismantle the entire corporate system. And we are seeing the consequences of that in the Obama administration. Now entering his six year in office, the president has not been a friend to corporate America. He advocates high taxes to pay for an entitlement culture. Business knows that and has not expanded, preferring to hoard profits or keep them overseas where they cannot be taxed. That's why the job situation and income for working Americans is stagnant. So Hillary Clinton must fight zealotry on her left. She'll defeat it, she'll get the nomination, and Mrs. Clinton will run as a moderate Democrat, promising to reform some of President Obama's anti-business policies. That's what she'll do. <laughs> well. If you ever needed a reason to vote against Hillary Clinton, you just got one. <laughs> Apparently Bill O'Reilly agrees that uh, Hillary Clinton will be a proper right-wing protector of Goldman Sachs and uh, the other banks that Fox News loves, cherishes, and supports every day. Now, anti-capitalism is not our signature issue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what we would like to do, Bill, is to protect the free markets. What your friends love to do is to buy off politicians, do crony capitalism, so that they could have an unfair advantage and say, hey, you know what? The bigger banks, they get bailouts. 
they get lower interest rates from the Fed. The smaller banks, sorry, you don't get any of that, right? You're a credit union, you don't get any of that help. In fact, you gotta pay higher interest because we know the government isn't backing you. That's an unfair advantage, that is not a free market, Bill. We're the protectors of capitalism. You and your crony capitalist friends are actually the ones who wanna rip it down for your corporatist structure. Right? And if you think that Hillary Clinton is the defender of that corporate structure, you're probably right, and that's why we're op opposed to her. So I love how he says, you would think that the, those on the left would low-key it. Why, Bill? Have you been low-keying it? <laughs> why should we low-key it? No, we're here to tell you the truth. And if you don't like it, that's a sad day for you. <laughs> and I love uh, how he pretends that Obama has not been a friend to corporate America. Obama has argued over and over again that we should lower corporate taxes. He's been a massive corporatist. What has he done to help the middle class and the poor? There's been no structural changes. Income inequality is still raging. The banks still have all of the advantages that they had before. Corporations run roughshod over us. They're now doing a Pacific uh, trans, uh, trade uh, deal where the corporations can see what's in the deal, but we can't. The public can't, our congressmen until recently couldn't see it. They had to petition their own government, say, hey, wait, we're the people's representatives. Can we look at it? They say, well, you can look at it, but you can't bring in any experts and you can't take out any of the papers. Can the corporations take them out? Of course, they're the ones who run the government. That's supposed to be the anti-corporate Obama? Please. And then he says, no, no, no. The poor corporations had to hoard the profits and they had to put them overseas and shield them from you so that you have to pay higher taxes and they pay lower taxes. They had to do it because Obama hasn't been corporate America friendly enough. And by the way, there is no such thing as corporate America. The shareholders and the executives are from all over the world. They're multinational corporations which are robots. They are legal fictions. They are machines created by us. They, and they have special rights and privileges now under our insane system where they have all the rights of human beings, including the right to spend unlimited money buying our politicians. And then they also have a, a special protections, which they normally do, for, so that they are limited liability and none of the executives can be held liable. So if you do something wrong, you'll be held liable. But they've got all of your rights and then some. And those multinational corporations love Obama and they love Hillary Clinton and they love Bill O'Reilly. That's why any time that there's any attack against them, Fox News will rally the troops. And you must, the folks, must protect those robots that we've created that hide their money, even according to Bill O'Reilly, offshore. It's not because of Obama, it's because that's how they make more money.